Hello, hello, hello from stormy Austin, Texas. If you hear some thunder in the background, hopefully I won't get knocked off the, the internet. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we got a doozy of a storm coming. Anyway, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about apps and Facebook. Uh, I'm going to take you into my account and show you how you can find out what apps you've allowed to um, connect to your, your Facebook account and how to see what kind of information they're gathering on you. Uh, and also to um, show you how to, how to get rid of them and talk a little bit about the, the information they already have. So if you're here watching on the replay, thanks so much for joining. Make sure you leave a message below so that I can say hello to you afterwards. So my name is Therese Copawoda, the social media hound. I help people with small businesses grow their business with Facebook, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, any kind of social media, and a live video. And I help people have a little bit of fun doing it because if you're not having fun with it, then as the saying goes, you're not doing it right. So let me get my screen up here for you, and I'm going to show you how... Hey, Caroline, it looks like you are here. Hello, thanks for joining. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to go into your account and find out what apps you have allowed to connect to your, to your Facebook account and what kind of information they're gathering on you and what you can do about it. So what you want to do, and obviously this is on a desktop, it's a little bit different on a phone. So what you want to do is just go to your, your personal profile and then first thing is to click the little arrow in the upper right hand corner. You see that right there? Click on that little arrow and then go to your settings tab, which is down here all the way towards the bottom. And this is going to bring up a whole ton of stuff. Let me get rid of my notes. They're in my way. Hang on a second. Okay. So first thing I want to show you is down here where it says apps and this will when you click on this it'll show you the apps that you have allowed to connect to your Facebook profile so you can click show all to show all of them you may have more you may have fewer I actually go through here periodically and double check to see what kind of apps I may have uh, may have allowed to have permission to connect to my Facebook account and the thing is with before I show you how to get in there and, and make some changes, the one thing I want to tell you is that these apps have already been granted permission, certain permissions to your account. Now you can delete them, but when you delete them, they still have that information that they still have. It does, when you delete the, the uh, app from your Facebook account, it doesn't tell the the app builder, hey, go ahead and delete all my information. It's just deleting their their permissions from this point forward. So whatever information they have on you previously, they may still be using that information to target you for ads and other things. So that's one thing you need to know. But you can you can contact them and ask them to remove your information, whether they will or not. You know, I, they're they're supposed to, but you know, who knows for sure. Uh, so what you want to do is on any one of these, any one of these apps, you can click on them. I'll go ahead and click on Instagram. And it brings up the type of information I provide to the app. So I have my public profile, which is required, my friends list and my email address, those are required uh, bits of information that I have to give them if I want to use this app. And then here it says post, lets this app post on your behalf. These posts may appear on your timeline and in newsfeed, view them all in your activity log. So I've given them that information, manage your pages, and that's so that they can post on my pages and then show a list of the pages that I manage. And then also you have the option of whether or not you want them to send you notifications. So you can turn that off and on. And this information here, that is not required, you can turn off. Now, if I want to delete this app from my account, I can click on remove app right down here at the bottom. And again, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that when I remove the app, the app, app owner will no longer have my information. The app owner will still have whatever information they've collected up to this point. So if I want to, if I want to um, 
have them re remove it, then I can contact the app builder. And right here, get help from app developers. It gives my user ID for Instagram. And it says you can contact the, the developer for this app for support. They may need this number to help better address your question or concern. So you can click on learn more. And this will take you just to the Facebook information on how to contact the, the developer. So you would need to contact the developer directly and then give them your user ID number and ask them, please delete all my information that you have on me. And hopefully they'll do it. Um, right here, remove info collected by the, by the app. So you can click on this right here, learn more. And again, this will tell you how do I contact the developer. Uh, click report or contact in the bottom right corner which is right here. And then you can contact the, the app builder from there. So if you, have, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and post them below. If I don't get to them during the broadcast, I will definitely let you know. I mean, I will definitely be back a little bit later to answer any questions that you have. So let me go back here. Let me go ahead and click off of that. So you can, you can do that with any one of these, any one of these apps. And like I said, I come in periodically and delete apps that I'm no longer using. Um, some of these I'm not sure exactly what they're for, and I need to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of digging to see if I'm actually using some of them. Okay, so down here where it says apps, websites, and plugins, this is an enabled. And what this is, this allows you to use apps, games, and plugins. So if you turn this off then you won't be able to use any applications, add-on apps or you know, things that you add on to Facebook, like, uh, like Instagram, I wouldn't be able to use that in conjunction with Facebook. Um, so it says if you turn off platform apps, you won't be able to log into websites or applications using Facebook. So for example, if you have, um, I don't know if you have an Amazon account, I think they allow you to do this, where you can you can log into different accounts with your Facebook app instead of setting up a new account. And actually, I recommend not doing that because whenever you do that, um, instead of in, when you use Facebook to log into, say, Amazon or I don't know, whatever whatever account you have, you know how you can log in with Amazon or create a new account. When you do that, you're letting Amazon have access to all that. I mean, not Amazon. You're letting uh, Facebook have access to the information that you're that you're providing to that other uh, that other website. So it's better to go ahead and set up a new account at you know different websites rather than using the option to log in with Facebook. Now, Facebook has made it super easy, super convenient for people to log into other other websites by using their, their Facebook account. But that obviously, that, that has a trade-off and that trade-off is in information. So there, you can read through this to see exactly what happens when you turn the platform off. Now this one down here, apps others use, this one is pretty interesting. Um, go ahead and click on edit here. And this one um, allows you to let other people, let friends, use your information as well. So or not, they don't actually use it. They can pass it on to different app builders. So people on Facebook who can see your info can bring it with them when they use apps. This makes their experiences better and more social. Use the settings below to control the categories of information that people can bring with them when they use apps, games, and websites. So say somebody does one of those stupid quizzes, you know, what kind of dog do you look like? And you have a lot of this information checked. When they opt into that, that quiz, then not only are they giving that quiz builder their information, they're giving that quiz builder your information as well, if you have some of these items checked. So if you don't want to share any of this information with third party vendors that you don't even have anything to do with, then you want to make sure you don't check these. Or if there are certain things that you want to be uh, shared, you want your friends to be able to share, then by all means, go ahead and check these. But I actually keep all of these off because I, I don't want other people sharing my information. So I have, I have all of these unchecked, meaning nobody can share that information. So 
let's see, any questions? It looks like I have a couple viewers, but no questions yet. Okay, I'll just keep going. And if you have any questions, if you're watching on the replay, definitely uh, post them. And also I want to mention too, that if you're watching, I have a uh, Facebook, Facebook page training that I'm going to be doing on April 4th. And if you want information on that, just type in puppy, just reply below with the word puppy, and I will get you information on that. It'll go directly to your, your inbox, your, face, your Facebook Messenger inbox, and I also have a coupon for $8 off. So just type puppy below if you are interested in that Facebook training. I'm going to go through a lot of, um, a lot of basics for people who are, are still kind of confused with Facebook, uh, how to set up your account, how to optimize it a bit for SEO, how to set um, add another admin, that type of thing. Uh, so if you want information on that, just type puppy below and I will make sure that gets into your inbox. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is ads. So it's no secret that Facebook collects our data and then sends us uh, ads based on the information that they have on us. So here is where you can see what your ad preferences are. So you can click on any one of these options here, your interest. This one, um, it says choose an interest to preview examples of ads you might see on Facebook or remove it from your ad presence preferences. So these are, these are, these are things that I have either uh, shown interest in on Facebook, or it might be that I have an account offline. Say I have a, I don't know, say I have a, um, a rewards program from Netflix. Netflix can then um, upload either my phone number or my email address, whatever information they have, they can upload that to Facebook and then they can target ads to me. So that might be why some of these are in here. Um, social media examiner, I had an account with them for, for quite a while. Uh, real estate, I, I work with a, a real estate person for doing some Facebook. Um, Mari Smith, I follow her. Zillow, real estate stuff I'm looking at quite often. Um, so you can scroll down here. Facebook for business, I look at that quite often. So you can see that these are all things that I've shown interest in at one time or another. And you can just click more and you can see, you can see more and more and more things that you have shown interest in. So if you don't, if you don't want that information um, pushed at you, then all you have to do is click on here. Um, horse training, I'm not a big horse trainer. So if I wanted to click off that, I can, I'm not, a, I'm not a horse trainer at all. What am I talking about? I'm not a big horse trainer. <laughs> I watch some horse training videos every now and then, but I could click off, click that and get rid of it. Um, sole proprietorship, I could click, click off if I wanted that off. So those are your interest hobbies and activities. Again, these may be things that I have shown interest in just by clicking on something or visiting a website that, that uh, pertains to one of these news and entertainment same thing um i've probably cookie jam that's one that i don't know why i i did not install the app cookie jam so i'm going to click off that um country music american dog magazine these are all things that i have visited online and then different people that i might follow and all these people are people that i have followed at one time or another technology travel places and events and then others as well so you can check out all of these uh all of these options here to see what kind of information you are um, essentially telling facebook you like so let me close this one and then advertisers you've interacted with now this is where the this is where the rewards thing may come come in, in into play like i have a fandango account i have a marriott rewards account I've shopped at Target, um, I've shopped at Randall's. So these are all companies that I have had some interaction with at some point in time. eBay, um, DE is what, Denmark, that one. I don't, uh, I don't buy anything from Denmark. Uh, so these are, these are, again, advertisers you've, you've interacted with. And then 
uh, let's go down to ad settings. This is this is useful. So ads based on your use of websites and apps. Can you see online interest ba based ads from Facebook? And what this is, is that it allows Facebook to look at your interest, what you're interacting with and deliver ads based on the content that you are interested in. Now you can turn this off. But if you do turn it off, you're still going to get ads, but they may not be as relevant. So um, I just leave it on because if I'm if I figure if they're going to show me ads, they might as well be ads that I'm interested in because they have that information anyway. And then ads on apps and websites off Facebook companies. Again, um, this is just a way for for Facebook to deliver ads based on other websites that you visit. And again, you can turn that off. And then ads with your social actions. This one I have off. I have no one because what it what it does is it'll show you, it will show your friends ads that you have interacted with. So if I, you know, if I clicked an ad on Amazon for a particular item, it might show, it might show my my friends that I have clicked on that ad. So that I have off. You know, I, people don't need to know what I'm shopping for or what I'm interested in. Um, I just don't think that's really relevant. And then down here you have um, hide ad topics. And this is different. And I, I'm not sure why they only have three uh, topics here, but alcohol, parenting, and pets. So I can turn off the ads for alcohol for six months, a year, or permanently. I chose permanently. The same thing with parenting. I'm not a parent, unless you can't count Jed, my dog. <laughs> um, but they do have a pets section, and I leave all these on, you know, so show me ads based on pets. And you can go down here if you want to read more about how Facebook ads work, then just click on this and it will bring up another another page oops it'll bring up another page where you can uh, read all about Facebook ads so let's see Caroline you say why and how does Facebook keep recommending people as potential friends that I don't know the exact ins and outs of that but I do know that it has to do with their algorithm it looks at people you know and people your friends know and tries to make connections um, and I know sometimes I may not have anything in common with that person. So I'm not sure how Facebook kind of figures that we're interested in each other. It could be that we both commented on something or liked a particular, uh, particular post or visited the same website. I don't know. There's so much that goes into that that I'm not, I'm, I'm not able to tell you exactly, but I do know that it has to do with their algorithm and just comparing uh, different people and, and what they like and who they know. Okay, so this is the ad section. Now let me go back to settings. And I want to show you something else on here. I wanted to show you the general up and when you first go to settings, you're going to be on the general tab. And what you can do is you can download a copy of all your Facebook data. And it's kind of interesting. I downloaded mine a few days ago. Um, I've done it before, but I ju just did it again a few days ago. And it's interesting to see um, all the information that's on there. And that way you can go through it if you want to and delete different things. Um, it doesn't mean it's going to be deleted from everywhere, but um, you can delete delete different information if you find it on there. So what you do is just click on download, download, download archive, and then it says your Facebook archive includes sensitive info like your private wall posts, photos, and profile information. Please keep this in mind before storing or sending your archive. So that's going to have everything you posted, whether it's private or public. It also will download your um, your messages from your messenger that that you've sent uh, with you know sent back and forth with people. Uh, so again, there's a lot of sensitive information on there. And I wanted to show you. Let me find this um, this link here. Hang on just a second. There is a list of the type of information Facebook collects, and it's a pretty pretty hefty list the categories of my Facebook data. So here is, here is a long list 
of the type of information Facebook has and how you can find it. Uh, some of it will be on your activity log, some of it will be in your settings, and some of it, uh, I believe, yeah, is downloaded. So um, here's information you can download using the download your information tool, that one I just showed you in the general tab. So the about me, account status history, active sessions, meaning where you're logged in, that can be helpful. You know, if you're logged in on your phone, on your desktop, on your on your on your laptop, and then also if somebody else is logged in from a different IP address, you're going to notice that too. And then ads that you've clicked, um, your address. I mean, if you just go down here, there's tons of stuff, education, emails, email addresses added to your account, even those you may have removed, facial recognition data, family, favorite quotes. I mean, there's just a ton of information that Facebook collects and uses for uh, you know, for advertising, and this is the type of information that you're hearing in the news from uh, uh, Cambridge Analytica that they have used. Um, not, you know, they've they've used it with the political with political political intent, and that's what people are raising a fuss about now. But the the truth is that you are. Hang on a second. Let me get rid of this for a minute. Okay, so if you're using Facebook, you are giving them a certain amount of information. But like I said, you can you can minimize some of that information sharing just by the way you use Facebook, by being careful of the apps that you install. Stay away from all those silly quizzes and the games. A lot of times those those are set up specifically to get your information. It's not because they really want to do a game or they really want to give you a, you know, an idea of what kind of dog you look like. They want your information. And, and if you have it set, your account set up that you allow your friends to share your information, they're getting that information as well. So stay away from those quizzes, the, you know, the quizzes, the games, those type of things. You want to make sure that you're logging into other websites with a separate separate account login rather than using your, your Facebook login. Um, and the thing is, too, that whether you're on Facebook or not, there is information on the Internet about you. You know, Google collects information. And like I showed you a few minutes ago, different companies will will collect your information for those rewards cards or uh, accounts you have with them. They'll upload their, their client database to Facebook and they'll target you with ads that way. So even if you're not on Facebook, they're adding your information to Facebook because they have it and they're targeting everybody in their database. So um, I don't think there's a reason to really get freaked out about Facebook and the, uh, the the information sharing. I think you just need to be a little bit more careful with what you're sharing. And you can also set up um, two-step authentication so that you have to enter a, a code to actually get into Facebook. That's another way to make sure other people aren't getting into your account. Um, it doesn't doesn't stop sharing, but you know it can be a little bit more secure that way. Let's see. Pamela says, you try to stay away. They've sucked me in. Now I'll have <laughs> You'll have my voice in your head saying, "Don't do it." <laughs> yeah, stay away from those games. Those are those are um, those can be those can be pretty pretty nasty to get in with, just because you're given so much information. Now, let me share my screen with you again. There's another thing I wanted to show you. Hold on a second. Okay, you want to go back to your settings. So again, click on the little arrow at the top right. Click on settings, and actually, no, I take that back. You want to go to go to this little arrow and then click on activity log. And this is this is pretty interesting. You can you can see everything you've done here. You can look by year if you want to. Over to the right, you can see. Okay, what did I do in 2013? And here's uh, here's some of the posts I did in 2013. Um, something, some kind of Google link. And if I want to, I can go in here and I can edit. I can, I can change the permissions to who can see it. Only me, friends, 
specific friends. So you can change the permissions on these if you want to. And I thought you could, yeah, you can delete them too. So if I want to delete this, I can just click delete here and that gets rid of that. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yes, I will delete that post. So you can go in here and like I said, you can click on any year over here to the right to see what you've posted and when. And you can delete them or, you know, do whatever you want with them. Now over here on the left, this is interesting too, all the information you can find over here. So likes and reactions, I can click on likes and reactions and see things that I, you know, things that I've liked, things that I've posted that I've reacted to or commented on. I can click on photos and videos. Come on. And these are my photos and videos. And, you know, there are all kinds of things, added friends, life events, songs you've listened to, movies and TVs, games, books, products you wanted, uh, notes, videos you've watched, following people on, and pages I'm following, groups that I'm in, events, polls, search history. And this is, this is one that I, I think a lot of people don't even know is here is that, and I clear my searches quite frequently. Um, but if you've never looked at your search history, you can go back and find everything, see every search you've ever done when you look for a search up here in the, uh, the search bar. Uh, and if you want to clear those, you just click on clear searches. And I just, I like to keep mine clear. I don't know why. It probably doesn't make sense, but um, I keep mine clear. I like it nice and neat. <laughs> so you can go in here and just see what kind of information Facebook has on you based on what you're doing on your timeline. And again, to get to that, you just click the little down arrow up at the right corner and then click on activity log. Okay, let me go back. Hang on a second. Let me go back to this and see if you guys have any more questions at all. And again, let me remind you that if you, um, if you wanna take my Facebook business training that's going to be next next uh, next Wednesday next Wednesday already um, I do have a coupon for you if you want to find out more information just type puppy in the comments below and I will make sure that you get a, a message in your inbox with information on how to sign up for the Facebook training and a coupon for eight dollars off and I'm going to cover a lot of basic stuff about setting up your business profile or your business page what to put on there, how to optimize it a bit for search engines, and you know just how to how to spiff it up a little bit, and then also how to get in and make some changes uh, or not changes, um, some go back into the the back end of your your page and add admins or see who's liked your page, that kind of thing. Uh, Lindley, yeah, the the replay is right here, so the you don't need to, you can just watch it here it'll be available after after the broadcast is over so it'll stay right here on the page so any other questions anybody if you do have questions again just go ahead and post them below and i will come check out to see if there are any answers a little bit later and if you're not following my page yet please do follow and that's it for today that's it i am going to get going and i'm so glad the storm didn't knock me out i was worried about that all right, everybody, have a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.